Hello, and welcome back to the Gavilan Hills Vineyard. This is August, August 2024 update. So follow along. If you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button, get involved and follow along. We love to have you. So number one, we have Varasian. We've had Varasian for a couple of weeks now. And as you can see, the grapes are starting to turn. The Cabernet was about a week behind the Grenache but man we got some beration going on and the grapes are looking very nice at this point along with beration comes an, another issue that is right now it's six o'clock at night actually and it's still 95 degrees we've had some high humidity over the last uh, month really it's been in the 30s to 50 percent humidity it's a little better today it's only about 20 but my spray regimen is going to have to be slowed down a bit because of Varasian. I don't like to spray and it's recommended that we don't spray during Varasian. Um, also, it's kind of hard to spray because you're not supposed to spray when it's above 90 degrees during the day. It does cool down to 70 at night, but it's a real problem. So we're not going to be doing any spraying. We're just going to hope, hope that heck that everything moves along nicely following our Varasian starting here. Now I've talked about vineyard management in the past and what we do for the vineyard management, but I didn't emphasize enough and I actually got hit by it this year where we really don't want to do any kind of leaf removal. Take a look at these vines here. These are the Cabernet Sauvignon vines. And they're coming in nicely. We've got some good varasian going on, but I need to make sure that these grapes, as you can see them behind the leaves here, there's some right in there, some down here, some back in there. These grapes need to be covered. When the sun's like it is now, when it's 105 degrees during the day, I need these grapes to be covered or we're gonna get some sunburn. And these are doing pretty good here. I do have some on the other side that hit some sunburn on them. And it was my mistake because I allowed the leaves to die off down low. Just to kind of show you, there's a couple of things. One, if you take a look at the grapes on top that are sun exposed, they actually have sunburn and turn to raisin. Where the rest of them, when you go down behind the leaves, look really good. So. You can kind of see that this plant is doing well to shade the plant, shade the grapes, but didn't do all of them. As you can see, some, some of these grapes are pretty exposed as we go through. Now, last month I talked about shatter or some of the grapes, some of the clusters came in thin. As you can kind of see on these clusters, they came in thin. Look at that one right there, pretty thin. I now know why it's because when the flowering was going on, I didn't water enough. And when you don't water enough, those flowers just come up and say, okay, look, we don't have enough, we don't have enough, enough uh, moisture, we don't have enough water, so we're gonna go ahead and only put in half as many grapes as we really need. So that was a result of my mistake. What I ended up doing, I, I didn't turn the water on high enough the plants were struggling, and so the flowering just said, look, we can't do as many grapes as we really need, so we're going to cut them back. So next year, obviously, I've already got it documented, man. I'm gonna make sure I've got water going to these things. We got hit in June with some, May, with some 100 degree weather. The 100 degree weather was a bit of a shock and I wasn't ready for it, and because of that, I lost a lot of grapes. But you live and learn. I have a friend of mine who lives down the hill a ways and she has a plum tree, actually two that went crazy. This plum tree just, she thinks she got about 800 pounds of plums off of her trees. I got 50 pounds of plums that we put, and we went through the whole fermentation process. So right now, right now, right now we're fermenting about 50 pounds of plums to make some plum wine. So that's one of the other things we did this month. One of the other things we did this month was uh, we just finished bottling 
our Cabernet and our Grenache from last year. We only had 200 pounds. It was our second year, but I think it came out okay. It's now in bottles and <laughs> we're gonna let it age a little longer. We're probably gonna, we tested the Cabernet, it was pretty good. We're gonna let the Grenache sit a while. We have a, a big party coming up in September. So in September, we're gonna crack open some of this stuff and see how it turned out. Now that we're into August, obviously we're gonna be dealing with the heat. Probably around 100 degrees for the rest of the month. We're preparing for harvest, which probably won't happen until the end of September, October timeframe. We got a couple of new variable tanks. Those are nice to help us out. And it's gonna be an interesting month here. We're still doing some trimming, some topping, cutting off some excess growth just so I can give them to the turtles. Turtles need to have a little more food. So we've been doing a little bit of vineyard management, but other than that, heat's gonna be the number one issue this month. Again, thanks for joining us. We are very excited to have you with us here at Gavilan Hills Vineyard. We are gonna be updating you next month, probably September, getting ready for harvest. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, join us, follow along. We love having you with us. And this is the end of the August update. So until next time, Gavilan Hills Vineyard, this is Jeff, we're out.